what's up y'all i'm back and in today's video it's gonna be more of like a diary entry hmm i don't know to be honest with you i don't know if i want to make this like a diary entry or what i don't know but damn now i'm thinking like should this be a diary entry i'm gonna say it's a diary entry because it's something spiritual and i want to get on that like if you haven't really been watching my channel for that long and you just popped in first of all what's up second of all my channel like to be honest with you it's kind of meant to be a spiritual channel i'm meant to document my spiritual journeys and it's like i'm mainly saying that to remind myself because i feel like sometimes i make other videos and i get so consumed with like other topics that like um i kind of like forget a little bit to talk about my spiritual journey and shit but we back at it again with the spiritual shit and for this video it's gonna it's gonna be a really like crazy topic because to be honest with you this is like the most craziest shit i've ever experienced with spirits now like to start off this whole video i just want to let y'all know something about me i don't know if i've said this in like other videos or whatnot but i believe that my first of all okay so i'm trying to open up my third eye right now like i'm just now starting so like before the situation happened and if y'all are hearing screaming that's my little brother and sister but like before the situation had like really happened i've not been trying to open my third eye because number one i've just been way too busy for that shit like work and school like it's just kind of been a lot on my plate so spirituality has kind of taken like the back seat but i had always kind of believed that my third eye was at least a little bit open like it was a little bit cracked open at the very least because my thing is like with my past like paranormal experiences with spirits and potential ghosts and shit my thing is i could hear them but i've never really like seen a ghost before i've heard a ghost but like you know i might have seen like little orbs here and there um maybe a, a swift motion of air like you know when you see like wind blowing like the air is moving pretty fast hold on y'all anyways <laughs> like i might have heard like certain shit here and there i might have seen something like i said i think i've mentioned this in another video my first paranormal experience with a ghost was first of all it was two like i've never really experienced ghosts and shit like i don't know i'm not like a, a medium i can't really communicate with ghosts and shit like that but it probably would be when i was like really young i was in the shower and i could have sworn i heard like somebody whisper my name and it was like Sriah. and the wind was blowing too but the window we had a, like a, a tiny window in our bathroom but the window in the bathroom was not that big to be blowing that gush of wind so it was like it said it the first time and it was very low and then it said like Sriah. like the second time and it was more loud and i was fucking scared like i was scared y'all and then when it said my name the second time wind blew like a little bit harsher too like it was like and the curtains were like and I had soap on my body. Y'all, I had soap on my body. I didn't give a damn. I got the hell up out of there. I was like, yeah. And I came out and I came outside running out the bathroom. I was like, mama. <laughs> I didn't tell her exactly why I was scared, but I was like, I don't want to take a shower alone. I, I forgot what happened after that. My second paranormal experience would be in my cousin's house. If y'all don't know, my cousin Kaylani. I used to um, live with her due to, you know, certain living situation or whatever. So, when I was living with Kaylani, um, I was in the living room basically by myself. It was night. I was sleeping. And same thing. I heard, like, somebody calling my name. I can Mind you, I can't see shit. I'm, I'm, like, half asleep, half up. But I heard somebody calling my name the first time. It was like, sorry. And then actually, no, I think I kind of forgot the situation. 
I think it, they were calling my name. They were just calling my name at first, and it was like Soraya, and then it was like Soraya, get up. And as or it was Soraya, wake up. And the second time I heard that, my leg, y'all, was pulled. Like some something pulled my leg. Like it yanked me. So I was on the couch like this, basically. I was half on the couch. I was half like further on the couch, half a little bit leaning towards the edge of the couch. And then something yanked my foot. It didn't pull me completely off the couch, but it slid me like it slid my legs off the couch. And that was like the most paranormal experience ever. Now, mind you, at first I thought it was like one of those instances where you go to sleep and, you know, you kind of jerk a little bit and you wake yourself up. But then I'm like, that wouldn't make sense because how am I jerking myself off the thing? Like I felt that motion of yank. Like it wasn't like a, it was like a, somebody was pulling me. So I was scared, y'all. I woke up. I was like, mom, my mom wasn't in the room with me. I'm looking around, seeing if it's somebody's playing a joke on me. I thought my cousin was playing a joke on me. Um, I went out in the hallway. I hear the shower. My mom's in the shower, y'all. And my cousin and my aunt are in their room sleeping. So that was my, like, I guess you could say, like, second paranormal experience. Um, but this is nothing compared to that. Like, I feel like I be hearing shit sometimes or whatever, whatever. Like I said, I feel like my, my third eye is, like, not fully open, not fully closed. Maybe somewhere in the middle. But this experience was something else, y'all. So, a couple of nights ago, right? January 15th. I, w I went to go to sleep. Now, mind you, I, the time I went to go to sleep, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It, it was very late. I'm not even going I'm not even going front. It was very late at night i was binge watching movies on netflix i was very tired i was very sleep deprived i have barely caught any sleep um between work and school i was kind of stressing myself out a little bit again same thing and then i just had bad sleeping habits on top of all of that so um i went to sleep a little late i forgot what time i went to sleep but your girl went to sleep is like any regular old night i went to sleep right i'm chilling y'all middle of the night i'm chilling and i just felt the urge to open my eyes like i always wake up in the middle of the night or like in midnight or early morning i always wake up um i don't know why i just i always do that so i open my eyes y'all mind you i'm tossing and turning too because i remember this night like it was hard for me to find a comfortable position in bed so i was kind of like tossing and turning mind you keep this in mind i sleep on my side so I went to sleep on my side, but of course I'm tossing and turning, I'm tossing and turning. So I'm guessing as I was turning on my, cause I was laying on my left initially, I remember that. As I was turning to go to my right while I was laying on my left, I kind of stopped in the middle. I wake up y'all, my head is like facing this way still. And something told me to open my eyes. So I open my eyes. I look straight ahead, like in front of me, y'all. Tell me why there is this jet black figure. This jet, and when I tell you, like, what I saw, what I saw. So, let me explain to y'all it was jet black. Like, when I say jet black, I mean black. Like, that shit was blacker than black. It's blacker than my own fucking hair. And I just dyed my hair black. It's blacker than my hair. Blacker than the than the darkest part of your room. It's blacker than the corner of your room. You know that fucking part of your closet where it's like it looks dark so it makes you scared. Like, you know, you think something's in there because of how dark it is. Bitch, it's darker than that. What I saw was so dark, y'all. I'm not even joking. It was so it was so black. Like it was black, y'all. It was Imagine the darkest black, the blackest black you can imagine. That's how black it was. In my face, too. And it had these small little white puny eyes. Now, let me describe these eyes to you. These eyes were white, white. Like, when I say white, I mean they were white. Like, they were, they were whiter than the White House. Like, 
white like the White House. I'm not talking off white like like behind my wall. Like my wall, no, it was white, whiter than the iris of my eye. It was so white. And I remember the specific detail about the way the creature fucking looked too. Its eyes were small, white, but they were like flashlights. Like, imagine the contrast. Like, it was black, jet black figure, but the eyes were so white. I felt like it was protruding light. Like, these eyes were not regular eyes. Like, it was like a flashlight. Like, too many flashlights. Because I specifically remember, I was looking at it for about, like, a couple seconds. Like, maybe six seconds. I'm looking at the figure... And it started burning my eyes. Like, tell me why I'm looking at it straight in its little eyeballs. I don't know what the fuck it had. I don't know. I'm looking at it and it's like eye sockets. And it's like starting to burn my eyes. I remember that sensation. Like, you know, like, for example, say you put your phone on the brightest, the brightest um, brightness that your phone can allow. And you stare at it for like a couple of seconds. You know that like sense of ooh, or like when you stare directly into light, that's what was happening to me. Like my eyes started to kind of like burn a little bit. Like these eyes were protruding light, you guys. So I'm like, what the hell? So let me also, let me also like get into, let me get into how the figure looked. First of all, it was a humanoid figure, meaning it had the silhouette of a human. It did not have any other recognition, record, recognizable features to say that it was human other than the fact that it just had a silhouette of a human now it had the silhouette of like a bald-headed man like basically imagine this right imagine my silhouette but all black that's what it looked like like cut, take out my ears and it was like just an all black figure and I only saw up to here. So y'all see how I am on the camera? I only saw this part of it. I did not see if there were hands, legs, none of that. Because you want to know how close this shit was to me? Y'all want to know how close this, this shadow figure was to me? I woke up, you guys. The shit was like this. It wasn't super close to the point where, like, I can't see the full figure. Like, it was close enough to the point where I could get a gist and I could see the whole... But it was like this, y'all. And I'm laying in the bed like this. Mind you, I never sleep on my back on my back. I never sleep on my back. So I'm like kind of confused. I'm like, why am I sleeping on my back? Like, I never sleep on my back unless I'm sick or I'm on my period. I always sleep on my side. Which is why I think it caught me while I was turning to another side. Cause I was tossing and turning the whole night. But it's like this close to me, you guys. Mind you, I'm very intuitive. I could feel energy. The energy of this like spiritual being, it wasn't threatening. It wasn't like this shit wants to seriously hurt me. It was more so like I was getting a sense of curiosity, if anything. It was just like staring at me. Like I said, this close. I mean like this. I couldn't see anything else. Y'all, at this point, I'm scared as fuck. I'm scared. And that's when I realized I'm paralyzed. And that's when I realized I was having sleep paralysis. I'm like, wait a second. I tried to move my fingers, you guys. I remember like looking down at my fingers and I'm, I'm trying to move them. I can't move my fingers. I try to move my arms. I can't move my arms. I even try to say something, y'all. I can't even talk. I can't even talk. So I don't know why this was like my automatic reaction. It was almost like a reflex. The thing that I did was I just turned to the side and closed my eyes. I sat like this and I was like, my eyes were shut. I was like, like I literally went from, like it could probably see that I was scared as fuck because my eyes was like, like I was like, I went from, I was like, and my eyes were, it, they were shut tight. Because listen, my theory was, look, if anything about to happen to me, I'm not about to sit there and watch it. <laughs> like, I'm not about to sit there and know, like, what the fuck? This scary ass shit. So my eyes stay, I stay like this for like, I think about like, like three minutes. Like, it was a good minute. Because let me tell you something, I was scared of shit. 
I, I peek open my eyes and the shit is completely gone. Like, poof, be gone, bitch. Magic trick. That's when I start realizing, okay, I can move again. Y'all, I'm way out. Like, at this point, I'm scared as hell. I don't know what that shit was. I'm like, oh my God, I, I just had sleep paralysis. Now, when I like got up, got up, like physically was able to get up, I was a little bit confused at first because I was trying to decide whether that shit was a dream or not. Like, it looked so unreal and like this had never happened to me, y'all. Like, I hear ghosts, I might see little orbs flying around, but I've never seen a real like spiritual being in my face for the first time. Y'all have to imagine, like y'all have to realize this wasn't like, I'm gonna get to that. This was, this shit was in my face. Like no personal space. Like this was me, this was the distance it had between me. Like absolutely no space. Like this was the distance. Enough for me to get the whole gist, but like it was like this. Y'all, I was so scared. So when I got up, I was trying to decide whether it was a dream or not because I had never seen anything like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Did I just imagine? Like, what just happened? Is Did I just have a dream? What type of fucked up dream is that? I was like trying to decide whether it was a dream or whether this really happened. But then I came to the conclusion that this really happened because let me tell y'all something. I don't dream often because of my sleep dep deprivation probably, but also... When I do have dreams, they're never in my room. I never imagine a dream in my room. And I've never, and I have the most creative, imaginative imagination you could ever imagine. Baby, I'm not imagining that shit. Like, it was so black. The eyes were so white, but puny, but white. There was no, and mind y'all, there was no other, like, humanoid, humanoid, like, thing after just the silhouette. There was no ears, no mouth, no nose, no eyebrows, nothing. Just these small little eyes and a silhouette. I didn't see any hands. I didn't see no legs. It was just like this. Like, y'all. So when I woke up, of course I did research. I'm like sleep paralysis demon. Automatically I come across this video and it mentions the different types of, um, things you could see during sleep paralysis and one of the things that it mentioned first was the shadow people so i start searching up shadow people y'all this is exact i found exactly what had visited me y'all let me tell y'all something bro i found exactly what i needed to what i needed to find i searched it up y'all apparently shit is real shit is real it's a real thing many people have seen this type of demon people even have pictures accurate drawings of what i saw I'm just like, yo, I'm glad to know I'm not the only one. Now, the only difference is that with some people, some of the beings that they see, some have red eyes, some have yellow eyes, uh, white eyes, of course. I, I don't think any of them have blue eyes. I've never heard of anything having blue eyes, but who knows? But mainly people see red or yellow. Um, for some reason, like, people rarely talked about white eyes. I'm just like, look. But I did research. Apparently, the shadow people is real. Um, people do believe they are astronomical beings. Some people think they are the jinn, which originates from Middle Eastern culture. Basically, it is spiritual beings made out of sand and dust and fire and shit. Or the, um, the ash of fire, which is why they're so black. To be honest with you, I don't think that. I'm more so believing that it's an astronomical being. Some people have also theorized that this is a being, like these are spiritual beings from another planet. And some people are thinking that they're from Saturn, which makes a lot of sense because Saturn is literally the planet of darkness. And what's so crazy is that we're literally in a Saturn transit right now. So... I did my little research on that or whatever. Um, come to find out that they are relatively um, harmless, which is good to know. They are relatively harmless. You know, they're not known to really cause harm on humans or whatever like that. But it was still very scary. But 
you know, some people see like, you know, the ones that I saw, like just humanoid figures. Sometimes people see little boys, like children. Sometimes people see like what's really common is this man in a tall hat, a trench hat. What I mean, like, what do you call that? A top hat with a trench coat. Um, usually they're saying that that's a bad sign of, or that's a sign of bad luck or whatever. Y'all, I don't ever want to see that shit. I don't want to see no man with a trench coat. Some people see, like, other figures as well, like women. I don't fucking know. But what I saw was the more common one. I do believe the one that I saw is relatively harmless. I do believe they are astronomical beings because what I also, when I did research, what I found out was that they cannot speak, which makes a lot of sense because they don't have a mouth. Like, at least I couldn't see no mouth. <laughs> but they can't speak but they can feel and that's where the other theory comes that they feed off of negative emotions because what people have found commonly is that these beings mainly show up to people who are experiencing negative mental health symptoms or just poor health have poor health mentally physically emotionally and they feed off of those negative emotions now that could be true for some reason i didn't want to believe it i don't know why but that could definitely be true because i was very sleep deprived not only that but y'all like a couple months like last year i also theorized that there was like a being feeding off of my negative energy like i felt like yeah i was being negative all the time but there was something feeding off of that shit like there was something encouraging that shit who knows maybe these fucking people lurking in the shadows you know whatever but maybe i was right about that i still don't know but maybe i was right about something feeding off my negative energy and encouraging that shit but i heard like once you nurture yourself with positive energy positive light they eventually disappear like it's really easy to make them go away it's not like they're just gonna stay there forever like i feel like out of you know the all the spiritual beings they're the most docile ones it was just very scary y'all i was very scared but yeah um do i have anything else to add i don't think so but yeah y'all that was the story on my sleep paralysis um i don't think they are demons y'all if that shit was a demon it would have wanted to hurt me and i didn't get the sense that it wanted to hurt me it didn't do anything it just stared i closed my eyes opened it and poof it was gone but yeah y'all that was my first sleep paralysis ever i've never experienced sleep paralysis before that was my first sleep paralysis experience when i first experienced it i'm not gonna lie y'all i was kind of getting hyped up because I'm, I'm thinking you know, is my third eye, like, finally open? Like, is it actually open, open for once? Nah. That shit just came because it saw opportunity because I was very sleep deprived. But, yeah. Um, hopefully, um, y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know, have y'all had sleep paralysis? Are y'all curious about sleep paralysis? Also, little side note, I called Justin Bieber to let him know about the situation. He was like, oh, maybe you're hallucinating. Like, not like, he didn't sound like that, but he was like, oh, maybe you're hallucinating, da, da, da. I hate when humans try to find physical reasons as to why you're experiencing spiritual shit ain't nobody hallucinating like you're telling me we're all just collectively hallucinating this shit as a whole nah they are very definitely real what i saw was real it was so real i wasn't even sure if it was fake or not like i was kind of like wait what the fuck like did i really just see that i've never seen a spirit before like in full ensemble like that depicted maybe i saw something out the corner of my eye once or twice but i've never seen like a full whoa you know what i mean but yeah, y'all, more little story. My third eye is not fully open, but I did recently just, I just did a meditation on opening up my spiritual eye. Um, yeah, that's basically it for this video. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.